All righty, going to check in here again with the uh, various Skyview cameras. Uh, things starting to change at the beach and some of those areas that have had the rain. Just had a number of reports from around Lynn Haven Mall area getting them from around uh, Potter's Road there near Oceana that the change has already now moved to the east. You saw photojournalist Rick Dillow talking about that change farther east there from Independence. This again is downtown Norfolk now getting uh, some serious snow on the roads. Virginia Beach right along the boardwalk. Our DQ camera down here facing westward still showing the rain, but it is not too many miles away from your town center. Looking down, you saw how much snow was there. That's some significant snow. Want to talk about visit abilities. Why? Because that's what we need to get below one quarter mile to officially get blizzard conditions. And right now we're not terribly far from it. Three quarters of a mile at Norfolk and the same thing down there in Chesapeake. Here's what you need to get a blizzard. You don't need a ton of snow. You can have a ground blizzard with no snow falling, just snow on the ground. So you need sustained winds and or gusts of frequently 35 miles per hour or more. We're going to have that tonight. You need reduced visibilities to a quarter mile or less for roughly three hours or more. That's going to be the one that we're close to. And that's why, uh, again, those blizzard warnings are in effect. The computers, the radars now saying that it is turning over even along the coastline, not quite everywhere. There are still a few pockets here, as you can see, where we have a little bit of rain, but that rain snow line is moving progressively from the west to the east. So around Elizabeth City, you'll be changing over soon. In fact, some of this is probably a little bit of sleet. I'm sure it's a little bit of sleet mixing in here and the brighter returns show up. Heavy precipitation in spots and then in other areas where the lighter bands are, it's just a wind driven sort of sideways, slightly lighter snow. Right now we're at 33 degrees, the uh, dew point at 32, so a lot of humidity out there. Nothing is evaporating like it was earlier. Northerly winds at 25, though, gusting even higher than that. So for tonight, 29 snow, heavy at times, blizzard conditions and those gusts as high as 50. Right now, again, the sustained winds are at 29. That matches pretty nicely with future cast. Here we go at 1130 right near the coastline. We still have that mix, but already by 2 a.m., let alone by 6, the cold air has come rushing in. The winds are howling sustained at near 40 miles per hour, at least here right near the coastline, gusting as high as 50 and then heavy snow continuing into the morning tomorrow frigid air temperatures. Everything slowly then pulls out during the morning tomorrow by the afternoon. We'll just be dealing with a lot of wind sub uh, freezing wind chills. Actually, wind chills probably most of tomorrow afternoon in the teens tomorrow night. Not only teens, I think we're going to see a lot of single digits Friday night into early Saturday for those overnight, excuse me, Thursday night into early Friday for those overnight lows. And then Friday afternoon, high temperatures only in the 20s. Tides at Sewell's Point will get up a little bit with these northerly winds Thursday morning. And then after that, they're not only going to not be a problem, they are going to go down and we will have very, very low tides with strong westerly winds. Here's that storm really winding up along the coastline. So for tonight and tomorrow, major impacts with the snowfall, minimal impacts with the ice that's falling. Of course, the ice on the roads will be a different story. Winds will be a uh, major impact as well. Extreme cold, more of a moderate to maybe a major impact. As for amounts, most of us, 6 to 10, isolated areas of 12 inches plus possible, a little less right near the coast and down into North Carolina. A little less once you get west of Williamsburg and about Franklin. All right, lots to watch yep. still. All right, All right. Thanks, thanks so much, Jeff. Jeff.